guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm challenging you. I am challenging you that are watching. You, the viewer, the subscriber, anyone who watches this video, I am challenging you. Consider yourself challenged. So, today's video is in continuation of Monday's video. Uh, basically, this is a subscriber challenge drugstore to luxury. And I'm going to explain. So, uh, on Monday, Monday's video, I showed you guys my favorite some die-hard drugstore products that I think someone who loves luxury, who loves high-end makeup, who thinks drugstore is terrible, should try out. And I challenged you, if you are that person, or if you just want to try this out regardless, to pick one of the products that I suggested and try it out. Comment, let me know that you accepted the challenge, let me know what product you're trying out, and let me know what you think. This is kind of a challenge for you to try something new and get out of your comfort zone and it's a challenge for me to really pick products and try to be in tune with you guys, my subscribers, my friends, and try to pick products that are really, really good and you guys can see how good my recommendations are. So uh, we're doing that again and today it's drugstore to luxury. So all my drugstore girls, the girls that love affordable makeup, I'm going to share with you guys so many high-end makeup that is really good. I challenge you to pick one, to try it out, to comment and let me know that you accepted the challenge, what product you're trying, try it out for a couple of days, and then let me know what you guys think. Was my suggestion a good suggestion? So I didn't go too crazy on the high-end makeup. I really wanted to keep it a lot smaller than the drugstore because I was really picky in particular because this makeup is higher end. It's more expensive. And so I really wanted to give you guys like my true, like I have no doubt about them. I love them so much products. So make sure you like the video, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified of all my future videos. Even if you're a subscriber, make sure the notification bell is hit. I've been putting up videos Monday, Wednesday for a very long time. So if you've been not been getting my notifications, check your notification bell, check every Monday, Wednesday, come back to my channel and see what new videos up because I always upload Monday, Wednesday. So, uh, <clears throat> also if you guys want to know when I upload and want all the back round get to know me a little bit better check out my instagram and twitter i am on instagram so much you guys so uh, uh oh last announcement you guys last announcement um i am having a giveaway on my shop you guys i have a home decor sign shop this sign i made the capricorn sign i make and i sell i am having a giveaway so i'm going to put my roseland's market instagram down below i'm going to get like a chalkboard sign that's this size um you can use for like a wedding, you can use for just whatever you want. Um, if you want me to pre-write something on there, I will definitely do that. Three portrait frames where I make a wood sign like that with your portrait inside. Three of them and they're so cute to have around your house or in a wedding or whatever the case may be. Share it, let people know about the giveaway. I'll just, I'll put the link right, I'll put the link down below. I'll put the link of the giveaway down below. You click it, it will verify that you're a follower on my Instagram and then there's all a lot of extra ways that you guys can enter the same way that I do giveaways here in Bomb Beautiful the same way I'm doing that giveaway but I just wanted to let you guys know just in case you're interested it's a free giveaway so just so you guys know all right I'm getting started as of now you guys foundation is such a great way to to try a higher end or to try dipping your toes into higher end products because there are so many good foundations in that range there are so great and so i have a few to share with you guys and um yeah i've done reviews on all of them so first off for this winter time like it's still snowing right now so it's winter time here um dewy foundations if you're a dewy foundation lover you love the glow this one is for you it's a lawless woke up like this foundation i love this so much i'm going to get this in a lighter shade and i don't have double shades of foundations very often but this one and another one i'm going to share with you guys i have to this is so amazing it gives you really beautiful coverage and it's very very glowy luminous dewy um just really beautiful on the skin it makes it look plumpy makes it look soft makes it really look blurred and gorgeous and i absolutely love this for the winter time especially it's so gorgeous in my summer shade i'm the shade golden they have a ton of different shades and this is kind of like more of an olivey shade and i just i really do love this loveless i really do loveless oh my gosh what movie is that from comment below if you know what movie that from loveless 
you don't know who that's from, I'm gonna give you a hint. Will Smith is in that movie. Comment below and tell me. I used to watch that all the time. Anyways, you're really going to love this. Okay. <clears throat> Next is this one that still has that radiant glow, but it's not too much. So you can definitely wear this still in the summertime, like if you live in humidity like I do. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This is so gorgeous. I'm wearing this today. I'm in the shade Vanuatu in the summertime. Right now, I'm way too light and I don't have my lighter shade of this, um, but I'll put down below the shade that would match me right now. I'll put it down below, um, but this is so good. I used it today and I used a whitener to really lighten it up and it is so gorgeous. It gives you so much coverage. It looks so beautiful on the skin. Seriously, NARS is killing it with their foundations and this is such a good one, you guys. Seriously, it is one of my favorites and I always recommend it. I think you should try it and it really is long wearing, gives you a beautiful glow, gives you that coverage and it's just, it is a bomb. Okay, next. If you guys are my subscribers, you know what is the foundation brand I love the best. Dior. Dior has these bomb foundations and for some reason I just love them. And they are expensive. So first is the Dior Backstage, and this one has a kind of natural matte finish. This definitely is not for everyone. It gives you light coverage and you can build it up, but I noticed that not everybody loves this one, and uh, I do. I really love it. I think it is so amazing. I'm in the shade 2WO, which is an olive shade. That's another good thing is they come in multiple undertones, but the one that I think everyone would like is the Forever Skin Glow. I think even if you have oily skin, you're going to love this because first off, in the Forever line, they have a matte version. So you can definitely try the matte. I have not tried the matte if you're super oily and you feel like you definitely can't wear this, but this is not dewy and like moist feeling and sticky. You know what I mean? A lot of dewy foundations do feel sticky and tacky. You have to set them. This does not feel like that. This just gives you a radiance, a glow from within, but it still dries down beautifully. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's it's not like shimmer, but it looks as if you put a really glowy primer on and then this on top. That's how it looks. It is just gorgeous. I can't even explain it. it. Just really gives you a glow to your skin from within. Like it is very unique in the formula. I can't even explain. It. I can't do it justice. You guys, this is one of my favorite foundations. It is so ridiculously good. If you are have oily skin and you want something still that's glowy, try this out because this can give you that. Um, and I think you're gonna love it. I, I just really, really love it. It does have a pump and it's just really good. And the fragrance in this one is not as bad as the backstage one, just so you know. They kind of toned it down a little bit on the fragrance in this one. Two foundations that uh, I have to mention, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, it gives you a natural finish, medium coverage, you can build it up. It looks really nice. They have a ton of skin shades. This one goes really deep, you guys, really deep. And they just added a couple more shades as well. So they have a lot of undertones, but I am the shade Natural beige and it is so ridiculously good. It's one of my absolute favorites. These all are. These all are amazing, but this one is like the first high-end foundation I tried, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I tr this, this was the first foundation I ever bought from like Ulta Sephora that was more expensive because I wanted it so bad and this kind of like pushed me into loving and wanting to dry high-end foundations because this was so freaking good. So I absolutely love this one. It's long wearing, it's really nice. When I don't know what to pick, what to wear, which foundation to grab, this is the one that I always go to because it's such a die-hard, true, like always looks so amazing on the skin. Okay, just so you guys know if you're new, I have dry, normal skin and I have a lot of dark spots and pigmentation. Um, just so you guys know if you are not my subscriber. Okay, so this last one is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This was so surprising to me because this, out of all the foundations, looks the most like skin. It looks the most like skin. It is so gorgeous. If you have fine lines, this will not sink into your fine lines. None of these will, but this one's 
specifically looks so beautiful on the skin and it surprised me because Smashbox isn't a brand that I will gravitate towards. I don't know how it is. I think it's because this one has an olive undertone that I grabbed it, but otherwise I wouldn't have. Um, and it surprised me so much. So I have the shade 2.22, which is light medium. It has a neutral olive undertone. And I love that it kind of lists everything so it's easier for you to pick out your shade. But oh my goodness, you guys, this is amazing. It is the most skin-like foundation. It doesn't cling to any dry patches. Whenever I do have dry patches or scabs, it just looks so good and doesn't look makeup -y, but still gives you coverage and it does have like a hydrating effect and it does last a long time so again this is another one that when my skin is dry it looks terrible what do i pick this is another one that i will definitely reach for because it just looks so flawless and good on the skin okay those are my foundation recommendations the only powder that I definitely recommend you trying if you have dry skin like I do is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This one's newer. I barely tried it a couple months ago and it is so good. It does not over dry my skin. I have to be really careful with powders, especially underneath the eyes because I have the driest under eyes and the driest face and it's like my foundation will look flawless but as soon as I put powder on top, all of a sudden it looks very dull it looks very dry it looks like a desert and this one i noticed is really really amazing and good for that reason it doesn't dry my under eye area and that's particularly what i noticed because a lot of powders look nice on the face but on the under eye where i'm especially dry they looked horrible and this one looks so good and it helps me to just look flawless all day long and it has a peach scent which i absolutely love Oh, I love it so much! <laughs> this is such a good powder and I just love anything peach, but it really is so good. And you guys, they give you 35 grams of powder. This huge wet and wild one only gives you 20 grams. So this one gives you more powder, more product in here than any of the other higher end uh, powders that I've tried. It definitely is really, really good. Concealer. You guys, the only concealer I have, if you're in search for a higher end concealer, and I'm still trying more concealers. I still am trying more concealers. But the one that I just I love so much is Too Faced Born This Way because again with my dry under eyes, this one is just so good. The tubs are humongous. I have one for like my face. I love using this around the face. No makeup days. This one's great. I just dot it on. It is very it does give you a little bit of doingness, so you do need to set it underneath the eyes, but it looks it's like perfect for me. It's not sticky. You know how some concealers can be very, very sticky, like the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics? It's not like that. It's thinner than that, and it's it's doing glowy, but it's not sticky, if that makes sense. It doesn't have like a stick to it. It doesn't. It definitely has a creaminess to it, if that makes sense. But I really, really, really love this a ton. And if you want a concealer to contour with, check out these shades, because again, Born This Way has a lot of shades. Okay, I feel like this is going to be a million years old. Let's hop over to primers. Um, I have three primers to share with you guys. I cannot not mention this, okay? This is my Die Hard True Primer I try with any new foundation. It is so good if you have dry skin. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer by Too Faced. It has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. It is silicone-free. I basically, it's a, it's a pump as well, you guys. I have basically ran out of this. I have to go purchase another one. It is so amazing. This primer is bomb. It's bomb. It is so good. I can't even mention, I can't even tell you, like, this looks so good on the skin. And it gives you some extra hydration. It just smooths out your skin. Foundation goes on top really nicely. So I really, really love this one. This is another one for dewy skin, dry girls that need some dewy skin underneath. This is what I use today and it definitely gives you some hydration. This reminds me of being a mix between an oil and a silicone primer and they and they came out with this little baby and it is so nice and smooth and at first it kind of like threw me off. It's very silky and soft. I don't think it feels greasy. It is not doesn't have oil in it, but it feels like an oil and silicone mix, like so soft. So this is vegan. It's free of parabens, glutens, mineral oils, fragrance, talc, sulfates, and phthalates. 
um, and it's for normal to dry skin and it just really is smooth I also have I think it's a cover effects the pore minimizing primer yeah that one's also very 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 good like this range of primers is a good primer to try I really like these Okay, this last one is a pore minimizing primer for someone that has dry skin. I don't know if oily skin would like this because I know if you have oily skin, you want something that's pore minimizing and mattifying. This one's not mattifying. This is the No Problem Pore Blim Primer, Smooth and Pore Covering uh, Primer from Touch and Soul. This one is probably the most hydrating pore minimizing primer I've ever tried. Usually they're very matte. This one, it's not, doesn't give you like glow it just it gives you it makes your skin just look normal like a natural finish on the skin but it's not drying it's just really nice and it really minimizes everything so I used this one today and I used a little bit of this one like along my nose and my forehead and I really really love it it's something that I just recently got in this month's boxy charm or sorry not this month's February's boxy charm and I have been just using it so much because I've been loving it to the point where I think a lot of you guys will love it and so that's why I'm recommending it to you guys because I think it's so so good okay uh let's go with eyeshadow you guys I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes and uh it depends on your likes and your tastes this one I'm considering a higher end this is the Alamar Cosmetics uh Reina de Caribe Ex eyeshadow palette volume one because there's a little bit only like six shadow eight shadows in here and it's I think it's I would consider this higher end but this is nice for someone that wants a little bit of color these shimmers metallics are so they give you such a pop such a pop to your makeup look this is something that's good to kind of add to what you have already I wanted to give this one a mention but this one guys if you want to try one palette from the from Ulta from Sephora, this is it. The packaging is gorgeous. It's perfect to travel with. The colors in here are fabulous. If you for someone that likes neutral looks and have a pop of color in there. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. It has a huge mirror. And holy crap, I use this today and I love it so much. This has your black it has some shimmers some metallics it has some browns in here for just a natural everyday look it has some pops of color some bronzy shades some copper shades some orange some brown some purples um, even some teals and blues and oh my gosh everything you would ever need is in this palette i love it so much i use this all over except for like the very center where i have it like brighten a tiny bit but everything else is this so i love this peachy shade this is what I have all over the lid. This is what I have on the outside part of the lid, like the outer corner. And then I have this one into the crease. It's just, this is such a gorgeous palette, you guys. I can't even talk about it enough. I don't even use it on this channel enough, but I use this every day in like my regular everyday life. I don't know why I don't do that many tutorials with this palette, but I absolutely love it. Next, kind of what I have in the very centers, this, this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. I love these palettes. They're really, really good. And this particular one, because I have another one as well, this particular one is all shimmers. This is great to add to any any palette you have. Okay, these shimmers are so glowy and metallic and give you like bright, beautiful vibes. I love this so much. This color right here is what I have in the very center of my lid. And then in the inner corner, I have this shade right here. Those two are my favorite shades out of this whole palette. These are so glowy. I'm gonna, oh, and so freaking soft. I can't even tell you how soft, how glowy, how beautiful these colors are can you see that so gorgeous you guys i love this so much it is so amazing uh i can't even speak for it enough like i always have this here because i always want to add like an inner corner highlight maybe something to brighten just the the middle of my lid and this is what i will grab towards no matter what this is what i grab no matter what i just realized i didn't even show you guys swatches of the other eyeshadow palettes sorry they're very pigmented I'll show you this one because the Alamar palette, everyone knows that one's pigmented, but I'll show you. These are some of like my favorite shades. 
and you can see like how pigmented this palette is so beautiful and that was a pretty light swatch you guys i'm a light swatcher Ugh, i ran out of wipes so that's kind of why i wasn't swatching stuff because i, I... next is face this is for my very particular girls this is the Too Faced natural face palette if you don't like these colors don't even get this one this is so first of all smells amazing smells really good and i love this palette so much this is the natural face palette from Too Faced so this is a bronzer shade you have three blushes here this one is this one is my absolute favorite pink blush. Every time I'm wearing pink eyes and pink blush, you guys always ask me what I'm wearing. This is the blush. This right here. This little baby right here is what I wear. Then you have two highlights. One that's like gold and one that's more pinky. I use all of these shades. These are all gorgeous, amazing. Uh, this pink is to die for. Gorgeous shades. Um, this is kind of like more of a pink, natural, mauve color. And this one is more like a bronzy color, which is really, really gorgeous. You guys, this looks beautiful. It's totally worth it just for the packaging. It's so gorgeous. And they're all pigmented. They all blend out really, really nice. And they all last a long time on your face. So I really love this palette. So if you like these blush colors, these highlight colors, um, kind of like the gold and the pinky, if you like that, I think you will like this. There's just no buts about it. I definitely think you will like this. This one, these both are new. And I actually filmed a Get Ready With Me haul. And I ended up not posting it until, you probably won't even see it till next week, like on Monday or something like that. That. Um, but I have been trying these out for a while. This is the NARS Orgasm. Um, if you like colors like this, you're gonna like it. This is the blush that I'm wearing on my face today. If you like this blush color, you're gonna like this. It's so beautiful. And when I swatched it, it's not super pigmented, like wow, like the swatch is great. But when you put a brush in there and you get to your face, it is beautiful. It slowly builds and it's just so user-friendly and workable. This one's the second blush I'm going to talk about is not very user friendly, beginner friendly. This one is. And this one reminds me of one of my favorite blushes of all time. See, like the swatch is terrible. It's like a corally, peachy with gold twist to it. But this one's like a toned down version of that. Um, but I love this so much. It's so beautiful. I've literally been wearing it every single day. I can't even get enough of it. I, I love it so much. Okay, this other blush, this is the Buxom Wonderless blushes. All these blushes are gorgeous. They're primer infused, they last all day, and they're pigmented, you guys. Be very careful because they're very pigmented. You want to be very light with this and try to build it, but I'm telling you right now, it's it's pigmented. Like it is. Can you see this? It's pig it's pigmented. So this is the shade um Mykonos and I love it. If you love peachy blushes, you're going to love this. I have been switching between these two every single day. This is so good. I even put a little bit of this into my crease to give me some peachiness before I realized there was a peach in here. Um, but this is such a gorgeous blush and the, this one is probably the longest lasting blush that I have so far like they all last a long time but this one just because it's just so pigmented so vibrant i just i really see this one a lot and they have a lot of gorgeous colors more natural colors if this is too bright for you and you can definitely go swatch them and these are just really 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 good but be careful because you want to dip in here lightly you guys tread lightly with that one like look at this i'm like wiping it and it's not coming off see what i'm talking about like it's very very long lasting okay <clears throat> have two mascaras to mention first off this is the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara you guys if you've tried the travel size forget that forget the travel size and try this one don't try a travel size because I noticed that the smaller sizes they perform differently this one makes my lashes so long so thick so beautiful without being clumpy the brush is gorgeous. I can't even explain it. When I tried this one, I felt like I had never tried it before. And I've had like three or four travel sizes or trial sizes of this. I've tried this so much, but I've never tried a full version. And I can definitely tell you the formula is different and it works differently. This is so beautiful, so beautiful. Next is the Cosmetic Superhero 
mascara. You guys have heard me rave about this. This is really, 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 really good. Uh, very impressed. Very, it makes your lashes very long, very volumized, just gorgeous. It does so much for my lashes, so much. This one just dried out. I have to get more. Uh, so gorgeous. I love it. And it lasts all day and it doesn't like flake off under here and it doesn't run too easy. Like if my eyes are watering, if I just pat it, um, it won't just screw up everything right away. Like a lot of mascaras do, but this one is a really, really good mascara to try. These are the two most commented about highlights. Every time I wear these two highlights on camera, you guys always ask me, you always ask me what I'm wearing. First off, what I'm wearing today, this gold beautifulness. This is the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. Can you just look at this for a second? It's just gorgeous. This is my number one favorite highlight out of all the highlights I have, high-end drugstore. This is my absolute number one favorite highlight. If they would destroy all the makeup and take us back to the dinosaur ages where you had nothing and I could keep one thing, this is what I would keep because it is so beautiful. How can I not? It is so gorgeous and there's something about this that just looks so good on the skin so smooth it just hits the light so beautifully some i love wearing this when i have a matte foundation on and then i would just put a little bit of this like on my chin on my nose and it gives me a glow and my foundation and my face looks so plumpy and fresh and hydrated just because of this ness right here this gives me such a wet look I love this so much, but you can also just barely tap your brush in there and get something that's a little bit more wearable if that's what you like. But if you like wearable highlights, you're going to love this one. This is one you guys always comment on. This one is something that's going to give you a glow from within. It's not going to be super strobing unless you spray your brush or unless you really build it up. This is something that just gives you a beautiful glow from within. If you're a bride, this is what you want. And Every time I wear this, if I'm out or whatever, people always comment about this highlighter because it looks so good. So this is the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. Fun fact, this is actually not supposed to be used as a setting powder. It's supposed to be used as a loose highlighter, to, but you can definitely set your makeup in those spots with this, but it's not supposed to set your entire face. You're not supposed to go to town on your entire face. Just like in the highlight spots if you don't want to set that with the powder you can set that with this and give you a highlight at the same time so just so you guys know this is beautiful beautiful uh so gorgeous so i'm kind of like building it up so you can see the swatch but there it is you guys this is gorgeous it's like a warm but it's like it gives you a glow from within i can't explain it it's not super metallic like the anastasia one like you can see this one's anastasia one it's very metallic very glowy this one just looks natural it just looks like right there my hand just is glowy naturally glowy and that's why i love this this is like when i don't know what to wear my natural days my days where i have just concealer on what do i wear this is what i wear i pop this on and this just always looks so good you guys and you get so much product in here you get 29 grams of product. So that's a lot of product. Um, this is definitely good on your wallet. Definitely something that's going to last a long time. I'm almost done. You guys knew that this was coming. You guys knew. Um, you guys knew. I mean, I love this almost as much. Like, be between these two, like, I, it's a tie. It's a tie between these two because I love this so much. This is the uh, Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. You guys, just go swatch it. Go see for yourself. It's what I use to bronze today, and it is gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this so much. It is so amazing, and it gives you the most beautiful bronzy glow on your skin. It's just, it's really gorgeous. I can't even explain it. I just mix them both together, and it's right there. It just is so gorgeous and when I swatched it even swatching it I was like hmm I don't know should I get it once I went out and got it I don't regret it one bit it looks on your skin so beautiful and bronzy and you can build it up and it just 
it's wonderful. I truly, truly love it. Um, it, it really is. It's, it's, it's top notch. It's amazing. Okay. Last product I'm going to mention, it's just a lippy. Um, I thought I would give it a mention because I really love these to the point where I'm going to go get more. These are the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have the shade bow and arrow. This is such a beautiful, uh, cool brown color it's what i have on and then in the center i put on the liquid catsuit in nudist peach to give me some more peachy vibes but this is such a beautiful color i don't think these are too drying and i have pretty dry crackly lips like everything on me is dry and crackly to the extreme but this isn't i didn't notice too much it's not too much it doesn't make my lips feel like I'm super parched and dying. It feels smooth and the thing I like about this is that it dries down. There's no tackiness there. Um, so if you don't like matte liquid lipsticks, you're not gonna like this. But if you do, I like it because there's no tackiness. I can go throughout the day and it literally doesn't feel like I have a lipstick on. And I really, really love that. And they have a ton of shades. I really love these. These are really, really, really good. But I wanted to give these a mention. So. That's it, you guys. Those are all of the high-end, luxurious makeup that I wanted to share with you guys. Please take my challenge, you guys. It's just, it's fun. Take my challenge. It's fun. Let's see how good am I at actually giving you guys good recommendations. I love all these products, and I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to comment below and tell me that you're accepting the challenge, what product you're gonna try, and then come back and let me know how it worked for you guys. I really, really would love to know. Also, you guys, if you like this tag and you think it's cool, tell your favorite YouTubers about it. Tell your favorite YouTubers about this challenge so they can really get together a couple of products that they for sure, no matter who you are, could recommend. And uh, it's fun to see what different people, what different YouTubers' opinions are and what their favorite Die Hard products are that they feel confident enough to recommend to someone that doesn't necessarily shop in that category. You know what I mean? So this, for example, this video is for drugstore girls that don't ever buy luxurious products. So it's kind of hard to Pick products that you think are so good that even someone that doesn't like to spend high like money on high-end product that would rather spend on drugstore would like. That would they'd be like, oh, this is totally worth it. Like that's a difficult thing. So it's cool to see what everyone else has comes up with and what they pick are really great products that no matter what, if you don't ever like drugstore products, you'll love that one or if you don't ever like luxurious products you'll like that one like it's really fun so make sure to go tell your favorite youtubers about these like challenges i think that'd be pretty cool but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i'll just see you guys in my next video bye guys